Okay, welcome back. This is Really Big Hat. I'm Jared, and this is our Humankind Let's Play. Currently, we're playing as Ming China in the early modern era. And we're still in... quite control... over everything. We've got a huge, huge swath of land. We're out into... A t almost two to one fame lead. We're doing very, very well. So let's see how the game keeps going for us, shall we? Okay. So these guys have just captured that city, raised it, and planted an outpost there. And I'm going to have them continue exploring. No doubt this independent people possess sophisticated customs, yeah. rights, language, and beliefs. Okay, I'm going to have to take them out too. Well. I wonder if I can do it with these four, or if I'm going to need backup. On the subject of backup... I might just train some over here. So how about... You know what, let's go with one of each. Just for just for fun. Ought to be enough. And you know what? I'm gonna buy this out. Heck, I might buy all of them out. I've got the gold. Yeah, let's go for it. The first ship is a wonderful thing. Sadly for the crew, we're likely to see the first seasickness as well. Got some artisans' quarters that I haven't gotten up yet, so let's do that. Go ahead and plug in this iron as well and then just get some uh, some more of these tea houses maybe actually I'm gonna put a garrison what's that a uh... that is a stronghold okay so never mind I was going to say that I was going to put a garrison here for a land unit spawn. I should have checked beforehand, because these guys are going to be way far away now. Oh well. I mean, it is what it is. Okay, and you are still coming back this way. And as for my research, let's see, where am I? Let's go for three massive ship before we pick up gunpowder warfare and centralized power. Patronage is speaking to me because I could really use those luxury manufactories as well. And then we'll see where we want to go from there. Hey, there's those achievements again. Once again, not weird or annoying at all. Oh, and I'm already under attack. Okay, well... the Maya. Those javelins are as unpleasant as their cities are wonderful. stuff that happens with this uh, system of everybody going at once. If you don't see something happening, if you're not paying attention, just gonna get got. I'm gonna begin a siege over there. 
And you know what? I'm Striving going to... and surviving across the vast span of history is quite a competition. And as the leader of that competition, your name will become a household word. Yeah, cool, thanks. So this is going to be a huge city, because... I guess I could make another one here that kind of comes around. But right now I'm one over the cap, so I'm not going to be founding any more cities, is the thing. I will want a few more on this continent, though. So I'm going to have to go through some hoops, maybe combine some cities. How much would it be? 18k. I could get back up there for Babylon to absorb Sipar. Some of these smaller territories. Ah, it'd be even cheaper for... Again, I'm not even going to try and pronounce that, but the Macedonian city to to absorb it. A city of 20 territories. If this keeps up, the whole planet is going to be someone's backyard. I'll have them help with the wonder. You guys continue coming back this way. Ooh, extra science. Reaching the end of an ideology axis isn't extremist. Think of it as being focused, yes? Very goal-oriented. Okay. Now that he's back in friendly territory, let's go ahead and just heal him and upgrade him. And then have him keep exploring. Alright, you guys. Let's see what I can do for Hamlets. Ooh, 3622. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, that was my army. You have my I thought ear. the Lost at Sea was talking about that damn boat. But, oh man, and I didn't have... I just got three-masted ship for... Ah, uh, that's upsetting. Well, do over. Do over. Uh. You keep exploring. Right, and you guys, let's see about getting you a tea house. A lot of influence. Very cool. Starvation? I'm afraid they've already eaten all the bread and the cake, and now the pantry seems empty. <sighs> you know what? The site of Angkor Wat is worthy of reverence, not merely for the temples, but for the care it took with water and irrigation. Okay. Yeah, let's just keep plopping these down. Getting those benefits. I mean, look at this. 37 influence down there. Not bad at all. Okay, yeah. See, now this one is talking about that. Why are you here? Ooh, gonna have to deal with this as well. Um, I might deal with them like this, though. As for this... Uh, I guess I'll make this extra four turns. Industry. Yeah, I'll take the industry. Oh, hey. 
I got a new boat. I hope for your sake these Aztecs turn out to be friendly. The last thing you want is to be their prisoner of war. Starvation. I don't mean to nag, but the marks one leaves on history should not necessarily be from malnutrition. Well, let's see here. 16. Do I have any? Do I have an improvement? that with all this influence I'm getting this era, anybody trading with me is probably feeling some uh, cultural woes. Well, maybe not. This one's still only like 61%. I think I'll come here and do that just to give it a boost. Saltpeter online. Well, let's see, there's some up there. I imagine I must have some back here somewhere. Let's see. Ah, yeah, there's some right here. Did I get the... Yeah, I did. So let's go ahead and get that online. Do I have any more? I do. I think that might be it, though. Ooh, more science. You're at the end of an ideology axis? Well, there's something to be said for unswerving dedication to a cause. city slot for me. These will help with the stability penalty. Oh, another, another boat. Wonderful. You know what, you, you can come back here while you guys, I'm just going to hit auto explore now. you limp your way back here and get repaired. Or over there, and then come back to get repaired. <laughs> Starvation? Ah. Uh, I'm afraid they've already eaten all the bread and the cake, and now the pantry seems empty. Oh, got another one popping up over here. Oh, hey. I discovered the Great Barrier Reef. Cool. Well, just another reason that I need this. And it's almost, almost ready. Okay, this is just done. Okay, you work on a shared project. Uh, actually, is there a wonder? 
that I can claim. Let's see here. Taj Mahal. That sounds good. So let's work on that. We'll put it. Um, let's see here. Not a lot of rivers on these out here. I could come up here. Uh, how about right there? And now, you guys go burn this to the ground. Things change. Oh, hey. Even leaders yeah, and accepted. Sure. With pleasure. I'm not planning on attacking anybody. What do oh. you want? Luxuries? Accepted. Sure. Accepted. What do you got? Because I'll take them. Pleasing news. Yes. Okay. Let's get another tea house. Because they're cool. And then let's get to work on the wonder. The first ransack. I wouldn't call it elegant. But it may teach them to keep their doors locked. Yeah, that that is a good spot. So, okay, so close down there. Okay, and you're done. So, where do I want to have you stationed, basically? Probably down here somewhere. Ah, and down here. Let's see. Maybe another Hamlet? Let's see if there's a good one. 22-8. That's not bad. And that means that this army is done. Ooh, and it's upgradable. Solid. Okay, now. Why don't you guys... Oops. Why don't all of you, please, start heading up this way. Get those guys back. Just in case something gets going on. Okay. Do I want to do this peacefully as well, or do I want to just take it? I think I'll just take it. Hmm, we've got orange hanging out. What is his whole deal? Some elephants, some swordsmen and a chariot. Well, I don't want anybody hanging out up here. Yeah, he wisely ran away. I want to take as much of this as I can, so if somebody else is muscling in, I'm going to push them right back out. You come on in, get attached there. And then all of these achievements pop up again every time I assimilate. Okay. Well, I've got some very unimproved armies down there. Now, don't I? Um, what do I want to do with them? Do I want to upgrade? It had pretty much bankrupt me to upgrade either of those fully. I think I'm just going to leave them sit right where they are for now. Okay, why don't you get to work on a tea house? Actually, that would be a better spot for 
a research quarter. Yeah, I can pop a tea house uh, up here somewhere. That's fine. Let's see here. Don't really need that. Is there anything here I do need? That's conquered empires. No, don't really need that. Don't really need this. Don't really need that. I guess I could take some extra influence. It all sounds well and good until they start worshipping delivery services and bank accounts. Okay, technology. Plus one city cap. I'm gonna need that. Um, the extra unit slot, that would be useful. Extra money on outpost is not super useful, but the rest of these are. Don't really need that, I don't think. Not, not particularly, but it still might come in handy a little bit here and there. And the mortar, I don't know how much I need, need that, but I will pick it up then come into Flintlock. Actually, you know what? I'm going to back up here. I'm going to take movable typeface first and then come back around into these. Yeah, the stuff with mercantilism is only so-so. Like... Plus one industry for workers isn't bad, but... All of those infrastructures kind of have weird scaling, especially on the ones that have prerequisites. You seem to be gobbling up regions and stars at a rapid pace. With 12 expansionist stars, you must have nervous neighbors. There is not a lot to say about the Mongols, except I can't think of too many ways that this meeting turns out well for you. It is named for descending dragons, though I fear that one day it will be tourists that descend on the place. The world is full of you new luxuries. Accept it. Well, sure. As a warm day in I'll take whatever you got. Word of your achievements has reached our lands. You have my admiration. Okay, now up here. I want this. He's got reinforcements down there. How did I not see those? Well, 
I would have waited if I knew they were there. Well, you're not the only one with reinforcements. I think I am actually going to wind up keeping this city. I'm close to one city cap, because that's coming with this. That's two turns. So I can... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Somebody else has taken land. Do not want... Hmm. Um... You go ahead and start working on the... I wonder, you guys, um, let's see if you can get a tea house. Oh, and I can technically enter the new era. I will put that off for a bit. I'm going to merge these guys up. Let them heal. Okay, that's just his boat. So it should be fine. Oh, I've got to the final tier here. Okay, I think I might take this, because I've got quite a few wonders. Give me... Pretty good science. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take raised monuments. Woohoo! More science! And down here. Let's see. Ah, I'm gonna take that, certainly. And then I think I'll get to work on the wonder from there as well. More science. You have reached the end of an ideology axis. Of all the epithets other empires may use for you, wishy-washy won't be one of them. Let's see here. Got a couple of decent spots for that. I think right here. Friend. Wants to trade everything? That's fine. A proposal as fair as a summer's day. We accept. Don't really need any of his strategics. But I don't mind making better relations. Now those Aztecs blocked me off. <sighs> okay. Well, in this case. I'm gonna change my mind. I'm gonna burn this to the ground. Plant an outpost here. Death from starvation. It seems that yeah. these are the times that try a people's dietary habits. I'm gonna go ahead and buy a harbor with influence while I got the chance and then I'm just gonna attach that here I'll see about maybe getting another tea house and I'll even buy that one out
12 scientist stars. It's always nice to see fame collected with wits rather than weapons. I'll have you guys just sit there for now while I ponder whether or not I really need to attack the Aztecs or not. Because I'm thinking not. Seeing you always brings a I probably have... Yeah, some demands. So back. I'm actually going to demand them. I have hope. And I'm going to refuse Very theirs. Interesting, nor desirable. Then... Armory. And I'm going to get another army up. I may. all of these guys. I'll at least get the spearmen. Now it's going to be 800 to pop for the horsemen tonight. Sure, I'll go for it. Reaching the end of an ideology axis isn't extremist. Think of it as being focused, yes? Very goal-oriented. Okay. Now well, I've got a couple of big scary armies here on the border. Just to make him super nervous. And I'll consider whether or not I actually want to use them. Oh, look at that. Oh. Okay. For a second there, I thought that was uh, an independent people that had popped up on that island. It was just uh, some of their boats flying by. Or floating. <laughs> okay, so you've made it back here. I suppose I could upgrade you. Why not? Never know when it might come in handy. Okay, now I want to look at my stars. I'm two away from another scientist star. But do I want to wait that long? I don't think it's going to kill me. Oh, yeah, look at that. So they're probably not happy right now, because I've got the sphere of influence over everything over here. Ooh, and it looks like, uh, looks like I'm making some progress over here as well. Yeah, look at that. Okay. Okay. I only mostly understand everything on that screen, so I'm not going to try and explain it, but it looks like I'm pushing some spheres of influence from, like, most of these cities. You know, via trade routes or just being adjacent to them. Now, I believe... Got a tea house there. I'm gonna go and buy this one out here. I don't think I'm working on it anymore. Yeah, I'm working on the wonder over here. Uh, I do have a tea house there. I'll go ahead and buy out. <laughs> because I am thinking I will actually just hop ahead to the next era now. And you know what? I might go with uh 
the Persians here for shared product, uh, shared project industry costs. Because I'm thinking of going space race, and I believe this will help with that. So I'll do that here, and then maybe a scientist culture in the final era. Yeah. In fact, I'm yeah, I'm just gonna pull the trigger on that now. Hail friend. I okay, they want an alliance. I see no reason not to. Accepted. Welcome as a warrior. They want a cultural agreement? Accepted. Sure. With pleasure. A cultural wonder. In my considered opinion, one of your competitors okay, garnered so... a lot of fame building that monstrosity. Looks like the two of them. haven't really been doing as well as the big green guy over here, especially considering the green guy has a vassal. And this guy's just got a mega city. Huh. Okay, well. I mean, I know that I'm still winning by almost double over anybody else. So, I don't really need to be concerned about what they're doing, particularly, unless they're amassing military. And I don't think anybody is. Not that I'd really know. Just get another cheeky tea house real quick. And help out the wonder, why not? The grand bridge between the great Safavid Empire and modern Iran. A difficult job in a challenging place. Cool. Mass dissemination. But will it be of information or of propaganda? Well, with another era down, that's another good stopping point. We've made some progress over here, although we did hit a bit of an orange wall that prevented us from getting as much as I wanted, but I think it's probably fine. Once again, we're winning by a fair margin. I'm thinking I'm going to go with uh, the Mars colony for my win condition. So we'll see how that happens next time. Later.